What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this WAC 100 comments about Master P and WAC 100 claiming that Master P is broke because he sold his No Limit catalog 18 years ago. And we're going to get into that. And I'm going to get into why I feel like WAC 100 is doing what he normally does that's hopping on these clubhouses and talking a whole lot because WAC 100 is an attention seeker and he does whatever he can to get attention whether it's speaking with 6ix9ine talking trash to other people in the industry rappers or whatnot him making bold claims that he can't really back up but he's basing what he's saying off of his music catalog when we all know that master p is a businessman he owns several businesses uh one in particular is the rap snacks which i whenever i get a chance to uh, i pick up a bag of rap snack chips they're actually pretty good so we're gonna get into this and we're gonna talk about whack 100 and these claims that he's making and why i feel like whack 100 is is in his feelings and emotions I don't know if he drinks a little bit too much when he hops on Clubhouse, but we're going to get into this. This according to The Sun. Inside Master P's war with WAC 100, who claimed the rapper is broke after losing $200 million and compared him to Nick Cannon. Listen, I like Nick Cannon. I like his work ethic. But when you actually go and look up the net worth of Nick Cannon and Master P, it doesn't even come close. And Nick Cannon works extremely hard. Nick Cannon has no problem working multiple jobs, hosting jobs. He hosts multiple shows. He owns his own businesses. The guy is a hard worker, but his net worth still is nowhere near Master P's. Even when Master P sold his catalog to the feds, is what, or the government is, is what WAC 100 is saying. Rapper WAC 100, and that's rapper loosely, uh, wildly claimed that Master P is broke after allegedly losing 200 million and compared him to comedian Nick Cannon. It comes just months after the music uh, manager, who's 43, was involved in explosive argument with rapper 21 Savage. Okay, and this guy hops on Clubhouse. I guess WAC 100 has nothing else to do. This guy hops on Clubhouse just to argue with people. I mean, that's what WAC 100 does. He hops on Clubhouse just to argue with people. WAC, whose real name is Cash Jones, claimed that P doesn't own his masters. P, also known as Percy Robert Miller, founded No Limit Records label in 1990. The label formerly included artists such as Snoop Dogg, Corey Miller, Mac, and Romeo Miller. In 2003, the company filed for bankruptcy and it's reported that Master P sold that catalog. It has been inactive ever since. Uh, during an appearance on invite-only social media app Clubhouse, WAC 100 claimed that Master P was broke. He said he can't hold a candle to Nick Cannon. This is basically him. I guess he's cool with Nick Cannon. Why didn't he, why, why didn't he throw the game in there? He <laughs> said like, the game got more money than the Master P, because Master P is broke. Because we all know, you know, celebrities broke and regular broke is not the same. But I do have a hard time sitting up here listening to WAC 100 talk about how broke Master P is. When we've seen the ventures that he has done, we've seen uh, what he's been able to do for himself, his sons. You know, he, one of his sons signing a million dollar NL deal, uh, yeah, NIL deal. And then you got WAC 100 who wants to make these bold claims. When we can all look at everybody's net worth and even Romeo Miller, I believe, has a higher net worth than WAC 100. But WAC 100 has a lot to say. And again, I like Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon is a hard worker. He's successful, but he does not. He still does not get anywhere close to the 200 million that Master P's net worth still has. Wack alleged, first of all, he doesn't own his master. They took them 18 years ago. You think this guy be selling noodles? The feds took his catalog, bro. He claimed that P doesn't have 20% of Cannon's money, Hip Hop DX reports. 
Nick Cannon got real money for real, real, real money. I'm like, how was Master P talking to this guy about what he doing and you ain't nowhere in his place, my guy. Uh, Wag <laughs> also asked, who is you, bro, to be telling this guy about his business decisions and your business decisions ain't been right for damn near 20 years. So I guess Wack is speaking, or I guess Master P is giving financial advice, and that has hurt Wack 100's feelings to where he's in clubhouse talking about who has what he's pocket watching he's basically pocket watching who other people has but i mean looking at WAC 100's uh net worth it says three million nick cannon has a network of net worth of 30 million and romeo miller i believe has a net worth of five million i think it's five or six million and Master P has a net worth of 200 million. Um, even if he lost 200 million due to his music catalog, he still has a 200 million dollar net worth. Now, Master P may invest a lot of his money, which he doesn't. He may not have a. He may not have 200 dollars in the bank, 200 million dollars in the bank, but he has a net worth of 20 million due to 200 million due to the investments that he has. But WAC 100 isn't investing in anything except for getting on a social media app, probably half drunk. And arguing with people. Because that's what WAC 100 does. The sensational claim sparked a wild flurry of discussion online according to HITC. One said, LOL, WAC 100 tried to say Master P broke. Another comment, if Master P broke, what are we? While a third posted Master P far from broke, MFers is insane if they really believe that. It's highly unlikely that Master P is broke. His net worth is around 200 million and he's also a business owner. P owns the ice cream owns the ice cream shop and installs self-service vending machines. He also owns Uncle P Foods, which sells foods such as pancake mix and cereal. In his most recent Instagram post, P said, in the words of MLK, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can. Hate can drive out hate only love can or hate cannot drive out hate only love can use your god-given talent to help others that's how true success is measured wealth is not about money it's about knowledge and wisdom but WAC 100 wouldn't understand this he's, he's too busy trying to hide the game's money so the game doesn't have to pay that lawsuit that he lost to pay out from that lawsuit he lost so that's what he's doing. He's watching the game's money He and watching everybody else's money. He needs to concern himself with what he got going on over there instead of worrying about Master P. Because I guarantee you, Master P probably has more money on him than WAC 100 uh, probably has for bills each month. But I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. The more we educate our culture, the more we grow and build economic empowerment negativity only destroys communities dreamers create and build whack threatened to beat 21 savage up in august complex reports the atlanta rapper 21 accused whack of being lame after he appeared with 69 on academics off the record podcast in august savage said i'd say you lame for agreeing with anything that guy 69 say whack responds okay so you mean lame because y'all lingo a little different what you mean by i'm lame what you mean the exchange continued before whack said 21 respectfully nephew i know you and we always been solid me and you both know if you were standing in front of me right now you wouldn't have that energy dude i will beat your m effing little ass you little bitty boy whack ranted we can get down blood i come to atlanta you can come to la we can get down wherever you want to get down i will beat you up basically um uh, once again um I, I i believe that that was um, master p's response to this ignorant idiot who's nothing more than an attention seeker 
who wants to sort of use Master P to argue with people. I mean, Wax, show your net worth before and compare it to Master P's and let's see who's broke. Because if you compare your net worth to Master P, I guarantee you, bro, you will look bad out here. But this is the route that he wants to go. He wants to go at Master P, a guy who is way more successful than in, in, in music. See, a lot of times these rappers have to go outside of music to make money. And that's what Master P has done. Master P had to leave music to go make money, more money. That's why he got into vending machines. That's why he got into other ventures. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at some of these ventures. Let's take a look at some of these ventures. There's some of the ventures here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, some of the ventures here, all right? Uh, no Limit Records. And by the way, Master P is going on, is still on tour. I think he's been touring since last year because uh, WAC 100 said he sold his catalog well. Uh, they are still performing. Him and the rest of No Limit are touring, and they're going to be in a city near you performing soon, I believe. All right. No Limit Clothing. No Limit Films. No Limit Sports Management. All right. A Bad Sign Tanks, the company. All right. Let's see. PM Properties, MP Realty, Big Papa Burgers, Chicken and Waffles, Monietta. All right. And uh, the Wrap Snacks, the Noodles. So these are just some of the ventures. See Uncle P's right there. So the guy is doing well for himself. I don't think he really cares what WAC 100 has to say. To him, WAC 100 is just another dude. Just an, he's an attention seeker. That's why him and 6 9 probably gets, gets along so well because they both like the attention. But WAC is on a different level. He goes wherever he can get it. Arguing with people on Clubhouse, looking crazy out here. And Master P gave a very eloquent response because he doesn't really care what whack 100 has to say master p is is trying to build generational wealth for his children that's why he's worked to build romeo's uh financial foundations as well as his other sons that are playing basketball so and, and his daughter as well so let me think in the comment section let me know your thoughts make sure you like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all in the next one